Hi guys and welcome to another IBM ODM technical tutorial. In this edition we're going to build on what we built last time which was the construction of a rule using our rule designer Eclipse based environment and in there we built ourselves a simple rule and we deployed it to rule execution server we ran it we made some changes we ran it again we saw those changes took effect. Now rule designer is an Eclipse based environment and what that means is it requires that you install Eclipse on your workstation and let's face it that's never never going to be business friendly. So now we're going to take a look at another major component of the ODM product which is known as the business console. Now the business console is a browser based environment which allows a business class user to make business rule changes and deploy them into execution, deploy them into production. Now the business console leverages a component of ODM known as Decision Center. Decision Center. Now Decision Center, if you want to loosely think about it from a technical perspective, is a server. It's a application server that runs and we attach browsers to it and those browsers then show us a visualization of the data held on Decision Center. So Decision Center is the repository of rules and their configurations which can be edited in a browser. Now we can build new rules in Decision Center or we can build and test those rules in Rule Designer in the Eclipse environment and then synchronize or push them out to Decision Center and that's what we're going to do in this case. So once we've built our rule in Rule Designer we right click on our project, we go down to Decision Center, and then we select Connect. Now what Connect does is it allows us to specify the URL of our Decision Center server. Now in old versions of the product, Decision Center was called Team Server. So we still see some hangover names for these words Team Server. So this is the URL to our Decision Center and the authorization that we're providing in order to allow us to connect to Decision Center. So we hit the Connect button. We are now forming a connection to our Team Server. We've done that. We've formed the connection and then we hit the Finish button. Now, because we selected our POC1 project, this is being pushed out to Decision Center and it's all done. So now there is a relationship between this project that we built in Rule Designer and the Decision Center environment. So let's uh, minimize our uh, Rule Designer and let's switch over to our Decision Center environment. It's buried in here somewhere. So our decision center environment is here. So we specify our URL to the business console. We specify the user ID we're going to log in at. And we log in. And that's not where I wanted to be. Let's try that again. Decision center and log in. There we go. That's much better. So now in decision center, we see our POC1 project. It's new because this is the first time Decision Center has seen it. We can now drill into that project and we get to see all of the artifacts in our project. And that includes our rule, which we imaginatively previously called Rule 1. So I click on Rule 1 and again, this is in a browser. This happens to be a Chrome browser. Here's our rule. So now we can come in and we can edit this rule and clicking on the editor, we're now into our browser-based version of our editor. So here I can, just like in a Rule Designer, change the values of this. So I can say if the quantity of the sale is at least 40 and the color of the widget we're purchasing is blue, then set the discount to be 20%. And having made those changes, I can select Save, put a comment in, changed rule to be blue and 40, create a new version, and now I have created a new version of my rule which has these artifacts in place. So I can come up here, I can create new rules, I can edit existing rules, etc, etc.
and then once I've made those changes I can come up here and select deploy hit the deploy button and now my rule is being deployed out to the rule execution servers and it tells us we're done I can go in and view the report see that there's been no errors and I can now go to my rule execution server and explore and we see that my rule has been deployed and if I drill into that rule if I drill into that rule I can retrieve the, the there always use the latest run the rest request against it run a test say I want to run with JSON and we'll say 50 widgets that are blue execute the request and we see we got a discount of 20 percent so if I go back to my decision center just to illustrate it again and go to my decision artifacts uh, edit the rule and let's say we now want to make it 60 blue widgets and the discount is now going to be 30 percent save the changes don't bother putting in a, a, a comment come back here redeploy deploy again wait for the completion to say OK OK is done go back to my rule execution center rerun the test so previously it was 50 in blue we get a 20 percent discount rerun the test now it's a 0% discount and change it to our new threshold which is 60 rerun the quest the request and now it's a 30% discount and as we see no compilation no eclipse editing it's all at the very very high level of a business user coming in through the browser and changing the structure of the rule and that, my friends, is what I wanted to show you in this demonstration. I wanted to give you a taste of what it looks like from a business user perspective to make a change in a rule and deploy it. This is done through the business console of Decision Center, which is very, very easy to work with. I look forward to making more of these videos in the future. Thanks now and bye-bye.